Let's first look at the final application. So we'll put a prompt in asking for items A, B, and C to be added. ChatGPT will ask to call a function. The function is the to do post function. And we'll look at the arguments that are passed. In this case, we'll open this up in the JSON visualizer. And we see that it is asking for to do item A to be added. We'll go ahead and let it continue. We see that the in-memory collection now has one item, which is A. Immediately, ChatGPT calls the to-do's post function again. This time, if we look at the arguments, we'll go ahead and expand this in the JSON visualizer, and we see that it's now asking for B to be added. Go ahead and continue, and we'll look at the in-memory collection and see that we now have two items, A and B. Go ahead and let this continue again, and Again, ChatGPT is calling the to do's post um, function, and we expand this and see that this time it's asking for C. And the in memory collection now has three elements A, B, and C. We'll let this continue, and this is the response back, which is it added the items. Now we're going to ask it to remove item B. We're going to see that the function that is calling is the to do's delete. And when we look at the arguments, we see that it's going to say a one. And that's because it uses the index for deleting. And this is a zero based uh, collection. Therefore, the second item B is actually item number one. So this is confirming that item number one is passed. And when we look at the in memory collection, now we now have just A and C. So we'll go ahead and let this continue. It says it removed B. So now when we say, let's list the items, this time ChatGPT will call the to do's get method. We look at the arguments, there are no arguments for this one. And when we continue, we see that it indicates that we have item A and C. The Retrieval Augmented Generation RAG pattern is a technique for building natural language generation systems that can retrieve and use relevant information from external sources. The concept is to first retrieve a set of passages that are related to the search query, then use them to supply grounding to the prompt to finally generate a natural language response that incorporates the retrieved information. Using OpenAI functions can achieve the same results. But rather than pushing grounding to ChatGPT, it calls functions to pull in grounding information. In addition, ChatGPT can call these functions to perform external actions, such as updating a database and sending an email. The sample application behaves like a standard ChatGPT application in that it can provide responses in a conversational format and track what is discussed so you don't have to repeat information previously covered in the conversation. However, this application has three functions defined. Add to do allows an item to be added to a list. Delete to do allows an item to be deleted from the list. Get to do's retrieves the items in the list. The end user is able to instruct ChatGPT to maintain the list in a normal conversational language. ChatGPT makes the decision when to call the functions. Yes, ChatGPT can manage a list without using functions, but since ChatGPT has a limited memory capacity, it would start to forget items. This method will effectively provide ChatGPT with unlimited memory. This is the C-sharp class which implements the to-do service. This has the add to-do method, the get to-dos method, and the delete to-do method. The remaining code is contained in the index.razor page. Calling ChatGPT. When the user enters a prompt and clicks the Call ChatGPT button, the following code runs. The previous code calls this method, which is the Add Existing Chat Messages method that retrieves all the previous saved messages in the conversation 
and strips out older messages so that we don't exceed the amount of space that the ChatGPT model allows. Defining the functions. The functions available to ChatGPT are defined using the following code. Notice it defines a todos post method, a todos get method, and a todos delete method. When ChatGPT calls these methods, we will actually call the methods defined in the earlier todo service. The following code calls ChatGPT and adds the latest prompt to the chat messages list so that it can be later displayed in the chat UI. Notice it passes the functions defined earlier to the functions property. The function call property is currently set to auto, which means that ChatGPT can decide when it wants to call a function in response to this prompt. This can be set to instruct ChatGPT to call a specific function or not to call any functions at all. The following block of code processes the result from ChatGPT. If ChatGPT wants to call a function, we call the execute function method. We do this in a while loop because ChatGPT may want to call multiple functions based on the prompt. For example, to add multiple items, it will call the todos post method multiple times. This is the execute function method. Notice it determines what the function name ChatGPT wants to call. It then, then uses the todo service to actually call the function and get a result. It then creates a chat message to pass those results back to ChatGPT. The application now allows the to do items to be maintained. The code is available on the downloads page on blazerhelpwebsite.com.